Ever since I switched to Mac over 10 years ago, I've picked up so many useful tips and tricks along the way that helped me to live a super productive life. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top 25 tips and tricks that every Mac user should know about so you can get more done in less time. If you're here for the first time, my name is Toriel. On this channel, we explore all things related to tech, crypto, and productivity so you can live a more fulfilling life. Here's my tip number one. When you click on command space, you're going to bring up something called a search bar. And you can use this for basic searching your files and folders. However, you can also use this as a calculator so you can actually save time. Just do your mathematical formula inside of the search bar. And second thing, what you can also do with it is the currency conversion so you can actually do it inside the spotlight search pulling data from yahoo finance here's tip number two the default video player in mac is called quicktime player and sometimes if you want to trim a clip what you can do is you can open the clip click on command t you're going to bring up this yellow bar at the bottom and this way you can actually choose a certain part of the clip you want to trim and click on trim and this will trim it to that specific region and just click on command w when you close it it'll ask you do you want to save this specific file let's just do this test file 01 and i save it to my desktop tips and tricks number three this is going to be one of my favorite tips and tricks for 2022 because mac recently released a new feature it's called universal control if you have any ipad laying around come to system preferences and click on display at the bottom you're going to see universal control when you click on this i turn on the third option which will automatically connect my ipad with my mac the cool part is i can move my mouse straight into my ipad and i can control my ipad this way it reduces the amount of keyboards you have on your desk which is a really cool feature and i really enjoyed it so far tip number four this trick works with all types of browsers sometimes when you accidentally close a browser you want to bring it back the key command for it is command shift t it'll bring back the previously closed window so you don't have to go through the history and find tab you just open inside of a browser when you want to create a new tab you can click on command t so it'll bring up a new tab or command n that will bring up the new browser window same thing you can apply to your finder or folder so when you choose one of the folder here if you click on command t you can create more tabs on top or you can press command n to bring up a new window instead of new tab tip number five has to do with the tracking speed of your mouse in order to be more productive you need to reduce the time spent on repetitive tasks for example if you want to move your mouse from one corner of your screen to the other corner of your screen if your tracking speed is really low it will really take you a very long time to get to the other corner how you do it is come to system preferences click on mouse or trackpad depends on which one you want to boost the speed click on it so when i maxed out my tracking speed i still feel a little bit slow here is a trick to bypass the limitation apple set on the tracking speed so the first thing you want to do is command space and you want to bring out the search bar and type terminal click on enter and you want to bring out the terminal in the description of this video you're going to see a few lines of code the first one is command v i'm going to paste it here click on enter the default mouse tracking speed by apple is three what we want to do is to copy the second line in the description because I have a pretty big monitor it's a 5k monitor so this way if I set it to 10 and click on enter and this way my tracking speed is way faster right before we close the terminal I just want to paste the first line of code to read the default and click on enter you can see here the default right now is set to 10 instead of 3. it might take you a day or two just to get used to it once you get used to it it will really speed up the tracking speed and get more done in less time and tip number six I'm sure a lot of you know how to bring out the emoji keyboard on mac the shortcut for it is Control command space anywhere you want to type an emoji you can bring out the keyboard this way you can also search certain terms such as red it'll show you all the red emoji so this way you can search up your emoji fast and insert it into your text to be productive on mac you need to have a window management system for example i can quickly bring out two windows like that it takes less than a couple seconds or i can actually bring out another window and put it on to the top right corner so this app is called the spectacle it's basically a window management plugin that you can download for 
free. The link is in the description. When you open it, you can set certain key commands yourself. I do recommend though, first time it might be a little hard to learn these. Once you learn it, you're going to be really good at opening a new window, quickly split it into however you want. Tip number eight is another small plugin called a text sniper. When it's running in the background, what you can do with it is if sometimes when you're scrolling on the internet and you see a photo that has text information. So what you can do with this app is click on command shift to select this region. I just took a snapshot, but it's not on a photo. It's the text I took a screenshot off. So this way I don't have to look at the picture or the photo and type the words and I can quickly grab that information this way and I can quickly adjust the format and it will save you a whole bunch of time this way. Tip number nine, for those who don't know, if you hold on command shift and three, you can take an entire screenshot of your desktop or you can do command shift four to take original screenshot. However, another cool part is when you do command shift four and you want to press command once, this way you can take a photo of a certain element on your desktop. I just took a photo of this folder and the cool part of it is Apple will actually add a little bit shadow to this entire screenshot so it looks much nicer. Next tip, open your finder, go to the top left corner, click on preferences or the key command for it is command comma. And you want to come to sidebars and you want to keep your sidebars nice and clean. When you just set up your Mac, there's lots of unwanted items. So this way you can check them or uncheck them to hide them on your sidebar. Under the same preference, you can come to general, actually check and uncheck certain things to show on your desktop and also you can modify when you open a new window in finder it's automatically loading specific folder you set it to so this next trick is a native app by apple called a sticky so you can click on command space and search for stickies sometimes if you are on a call and you want to quickly draw some notes and you don't have a pen laying around by having this sticky it's actually pretty handy once you draw down your node you can double click on top and to collapse the sticky node and you can drag it around to put it in different positions and you can also adjust the width as you want and you can click on command plus and minus to increase and decrease the font size. Tip number 12, sometimes if you want to copy paste certain elements from a website like this, when you do copy paste command C, if you come back to your document, click on command V to paste it there and you can see here not only I copy the information, I also copy the style of the original content. If you want to avoid the style of the text, what you can do is come to your document, still copy, and you want to press shift option command and press V. This way you can paste the value of the text, not the attribute or the style. Tip number 13, this is really helpful. It will save you a whole bunch of time. If you have a large batch of files, photos, or videos, you want to rename them properly. So look at what I do here. Select the file, command A, or you can select everything in your folder and you want to right click and something called a rename. I can replace certain text. Let's try that. I'm going to replace how to lesson and click on rename. All my house went to lessons and then click on command Z so you can recover what you just did and right click. Let's go back to rename. And here we have a two more options, which is add text or we want to format. So in this case, what I like to do is add certain text. All the videos shot in this video is 1080p. I want to put it in the front of the name and click on a space. Just make sure that is there and click on rename. I just in batch added 1080p into my files. So this is really handy again if you want to rename batches of files at once. Tip number 14, when you open a new folder and come to the top view, you're going to see this option says show path bar. When you click on it, it will basically show you the path you are at in your entire Mac system. So this way you can quickly navigate around into the previous folder or just knowing what path you are at at the current moment. Tip 15 is something called hot corner. Come to your system preferences and click on desk and screen saver. And in the bottom right corner, you're going to see this option says hot corner. Click on it once, you're going to have a pop-up. These are the four corners we can assign certain tasks to. For example, the top left corner, I said it a quick note and the bottom right corner I said it to put display to sleep if you're in front of your office and you just want to quickly put it into a sleep without clicking on here and click on sleep so you can just put your mouse hover to the bottom right corner and it will go to sleep top left corner I have a quick notes so if I hover my mouse over top left corner you're going to see this white
right bar click on it once it will automatically open up a new node how corner is definitely something useful but once you set it don't forget to use it tip number 16 this is going to save your eyesight a lot so come to system preferences and click on display on the bottom left and you're going to see something called a night shift mode i set my schedule to sunset to sunrise so during nighttime my computer screen will automatically dim down the blue light and produce this more orange looking or more warm tone so it will really help you ease out your eye a little bit more so i strongly recommend setting night shifts but not during the day but sunset to sunrise tip number 17 this is going to help you to discover a certain hidden menu by apple for example the top right corner i have a bluetooth icon here if i click on it this is how regularly it looks like but if i hold on option and click on it again i can extend it with more data and information one of my favorite way to use this method is for example if i have a whole bunch of finder window opened and i don't want to individually close them so what you can do is hold down to option and click on file and you're going to see an option says close all if i don't hold that option key it's going to give me close window so in this case i want to close everything all these tabs so i'm going to hold on option and click on close all so all my window just closed within a second tip number 18 you want to open any folder here and click on finder and preferences under advanced tab at the bottom when you perform a search it's normally searching that entire mac what i want to do is search the current folder so when i close this if i search how to it's going to search under download folder instead of the entire mac tip number 19 this is a wage customization click on top right corner your current date and time you're going to open up the sidebar which is also called widgets you can edit widgets so this way you can drag and drop certain elements in my case i have a bitcoin and ethereum here the pricing i also have a world clock here so i can quickly navigate on the time and also have a weather and a calendar so you can customize it to your own liking and if you want to bring out the widgets just click on the top right corner and hide it by clicking on one more time now moving on to the next one is going to be a dock customization so a couple things i like to customize my dock here is number one when you click on system preferences and you want to click on dock what i have it here is i want to automatically hide and show key command for this is option command d you can turn it on and off what i do like is automatically hide it so it creates more real estate on your screen another thing i like to do with a dog is come to your finder on the sidebar you're going to see application option you want to drag this application into your dog at the end right here when you want to have a quick access to certain apps you can actually click on this folder to expand to all your views on your app or you can close it by press it one more time i recommend you to remove everything that you don't use on your dock if you want to remove certain things on your dock click and drag it into a trash can and it will disappear and if i want to bring it back i just need to go into my application find the app and bring it to my dock again my next tip is something called a quick look or quick preview in mac if you want to preview certain files without opening it simply select the file click on space you can actually preview the file this way any document you can press space space and to preview it this way tips and tricks number 22 you can turn individual photos screenshots or images combine them and format them into a pdf file here i have a four different screenshots you want to right click and you want to open with a preview and once you have it open command a i select all the pages here click on command p so you can bring out the printer option here and then you can see i have something called a pdf at the bottom click on it once you can save it as a pdf now let's save this into download folder let's call this one two three as a test click on save so we just combine these four photos into a one pdf document so this next tip is going to be finder again so how you can do is you can switch between different views by using command one command two command three you can toggle them between different views again command one two three four is how you can switch to different view options tip number 24 come to any folder click on command two so you make sure you're on the list view top right corner click on three dots you have an option called a show view options so this way you can actually 
actually adjust the icon size. This looks a little bit better than smaller font size because their screen can get bigger. Items can get really tiny. On top of it, you can adjust the text size from 13, let's say to 16. This way you can adjust the font and the text size inside of your list of view. Tip number 25. This is one of the most frequently used app that I use it all the time. And I'm gonna link this app in the description as well. It's free. It's called something called a sketch. Sometimes I do a screenshot, want to show people certain things. Command shift four. I want to take original screenshot of this YouTube page right here. And the file is right here. What I like to do is right click on it. I want to open it with sketch. So what sketch is really cool app. It allows you to quickly drop certain arrow like this. You can quickly insert arrow like this, or you can actually insert certain text and combine it with the arrow. You can do a lot of cool things. You can quickly mark up some of your ideas and share it within the team. You can draw boxes. And if you have a sensitive information, you can actually hide it by using the blur tool. And on top of it, there's many other tools you can try it out. There's drawing one you can do. Really useful tool that I use it almost every day. Just quickly sketch some of the ideas with a screenshot. So those were my top 25 tips and tricks every Mac user should know about. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, drop some comments below. Let me know which tip or which trick you enjoy the most. It's Tariul Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.